Hi, I'm Hector G, and this is Subharmonic City Reviews. This channel was originally started to showcase all of the projects I've ever worked on. Subharmonic City is my uh, video company thing. But I have a lot of equipment that I kind of want to talk about sometimes. So I'm going to do just that, starting with this little guy. The Feotech Vlog Pocket. Now, I own a few gimbals. Uh, for my DSLRs, for my cameras, uh, GoPro, but I never really considered getting a gimbal for a smartphone. Never used a smartphone or even considered using a smartphone to capture any sort of footage or anything that I would use in any of my projects until the iPhone 11. I said I'd never do it. I'd never pay over a thousand bucks for an iPhone, but I did. And you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. This is the first phone that I would ever consider using the footage in my projects, from B-roll to uh, behind the scenes footage and stuff like that. And the more I started using the phone, the more I realized like, you know what? I like the stabilization on the phone, but it could be better. I finally started looking at gimbals. After non-stop research or watching review videos and reading articles, I ended up going with the Zion Smooth 4, but that's a whole other review. So, where does this little guy come in? I wanted a smaller gimbal for everyday use when I don't need a ton of buttons or functions or knobs or anything like that. And this thing has served its purpose. Mwah. This is perfect for times I just want to spend an afternoon now, maybe walking around downtown, just casual shooting. Uh, but I would still like some pretty stabilized shots. All the rotating parts of the arms have these little indents on them, so you can kind of just snap them into place so it doesn't move. And again, a little twist. There you go. Things aren't going to be shaking around or anything. With just a little bit of pressure, you know, you can um, unsnap the, the rotating arms here. Now when it's time to put this thing away, you want to tuck it away in a bag or whatnot. Uh, just undo this little screw here. Uh, turn the little clamp so it's facing the body. And that's it. Look. Hmm. Maybe I can put it in my pocket. I can. Bigger pockets. Yeah, bigger pockets. If you got tight jeans or anything like that, heck no, it's not going to fit. Whoa. It charges with a regular micro USB. The max payload of this thing is 240 grams or 8.5 ounces. The phone that I use, the iPhone 11 Pro, is 188 grams or 6.5 ounces. So this thing, even with a case on the iPhone 11, handles it absolutely fine. I don't use any additional lenses or anything on my phone. Uh, so no problem there. But now you've noticed this is not uh, an iPhone 11. This is a, a Galaxy something. Blah. We don't need to use that anymore. Real easy spring-loaded clamp on here. Mm, just put the phone on right like that and it's ready to go. Super simple to uh, balance. Just put it right in the middle. No problem there. Again, I have a pretty hefty case on here. It includes the back and a, and a front screen protector as well. Just two buttons on the back here and one trigger up front. Hold down the top button and turns right on as it should. Uh, press it twice to go into portrait mode. Never ever shoot video in portrait mode. Unless it's for Instagram or a Facebook story or anything like that. Double tap again. A landscape. Always landscape, please. That bottom button, mm, not really used here. If you have the gimbal connected through Bluetooth to the Feutech app on the phone, it allows you to switch between uh, photo and video. I'm not going to use the app. I don't need the app. I have no problem just touching the screen to start recording. And the front trigger button, which allows you to, if you hold it down, you pan up. Pan down, hold it down to do that. Otherwise, it stays in position. I didn't get this gimbal expecting it to do everything that the more expensive gimbals do. No, I got this gimbal uh, for its real compact size and portability and the weight. I like to keep the detachable tripod on there. Uh, it just gives you a little bit more room to handle it. As I was saying, the abilities of this gimbal are pretty limited. The range of motion is limited as well. It's supposed to stay at that angle, but with the arm here, mm, it starts to pan down, you know, but again, this is, it's called the vlog pocket for a reason. You're not going to be doing so many crazy movements or anything with it. Now you can see in the footage here that I experimented with the onboard image stabilization on the phone itself. I had it off during this part, and the gimbal did an okay job of stabilizing the footage. But it really helped when I turned the stabilization on the phone itself back on, and you could see buttery smooth. 
It's going to take a little practice and not get those walking bumps there. But again, the gimbal itself does a really good job, better than hand holding the phone itself. Now, one major issue that I had when I was considering any gimbal uh, for use with the iPhone 11 Pro was the wide angle lens on this thing. I saw a lot of videos where the gimbal arms are, are in the footage. If you mount the phone right in the middle, it's perfectly balanced and you switch over to the wide angle, the super wide angle, and yes, you definitely see the, the gimbal arm in the shot. But with this gimbal, that's not a problem. You know what you do? You just grab the phone and slide it over just a little bit, just a bit. It's not gonna be perfectly balanced, but the gimbal motors are strong enough to hold it steady still. You just move it over just a tad, as you see in the footage here, and no arm in the super wide angle lens. So, fantastic. I like using the super wide angle lens, especially when doing some vlogs or behind the scene footage to really capture everything in your, in your surroundings here. So, ah, thank goodness. One curious feature that I thought this gimbal lacked was the ability to uh, turn it around for uh, a selfie mode, considering it's called the vlog pocket and a lot of people want to use uh, the high quality cameras here for doing vlogs. That is a limitation of the arm itself. There is a limited movement, so it doesn't quite turn 360 degrees. That's as far as it'll go. So you could just switch the camera to the front-facing one and uh, do, your, do your recording that way. Not a deal breaker. Again, I got this one knowing its limitations, but for just casual, everyday shooting, you still want super steady shots. Feutech is a brand that I've been using for years now. Now, I'm not affiliated with Feutech, unless you want to be, guys. I just like their stuff a lot. And this is a very welcome addition to the Feutech family. Check this one out if you want something super light, super portable, super affordable. Just don't expect it to perform as the gimbals that cost three or four times as much because that's not what this little guy is intended for. Keep that in mind. Now, I really appreciate you guys watching this. I know it's 2020. This thing's been out for oh, over a year already, I guess. Thanks for checking this review out. This is my first review on this channel, so do all that like, subscribe, comment, and all that. And let me know if you want me to do any reviews on anything else.